Here we have an MRE, meal ready to eat. Menu number seven, meatloaf. This is a genuine MRE made by the Warnock Company. And this is one of those ones that has no date code on it. No printed one on it, and nothing stamped on it. So let's see what's inside and see how old it actually is. Meatloaf with caramel color added and brown onion gravy. There's nutrition facts for anyone that's interested. And let's see, we have a date code on this one. Oh, this is older than I thought. 7256. Which means it was packaged on the 256th day of 2007. This one's about six years old. Meatloaf has a side dish of mashed potatoes. This was actually packaged at the beginning of 2008, 17th day, so in January of 2008. A beverage bag, planless ration heater, carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, lemon lime flavor, crackers. Barbecue sauce, peanut butter and apple jelly, a brown spoon, candy toffee rolls, chocolate flavor. Ooh, oatmeal cookie. And accessory pack that has the lemon flavored iced tea drink mix. Toilet paper, butter buds for the potatoes, some gum that's cracked a little bit there, showing its age, matches, moist towelette, and salt. This one's got a good amount of stuff in it. I'm going to start off with the meatloaf and the mashed potatoes, try and heat them both up in the flames ration heater. I'm going to tear it at the notch here. And we have the heating elements. I'm going to do two. You want to put the two pouches around the heating elements. Sandwich that in between. Easier said than done. Slide the whole thing down a little bit above the do not overfill line. You want to fill that with just a small amount of water. I'm going to fill that a little bit, but I don't think that'll be a too big of an issue. Just slide everything down into the water. Fold the top over. And I want to make sure that the elements, the heating elements, get some water. You stuff the whole thing back into one of the boxes. And you set the whole thing rock or something. And while that heats up, I'm going to check out the rest of what we got. Let's see if we need the barbecue sauce on the meatloaf. Just the crackers. Uh, yeah, that nice hiss. Candy toffee rolls, which is a couple of Tootsie Rolls, the oatmeal cookie, a 
Oh, it's broken up a little bit in here. And a little peanut butter and jelly for the crackers. And that leads us to just the carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, lemon lime flavor. Twelve ounces of water. Show how the meatloaf and these potatoes are doing. I feel some heat. And this is actually very hot. It's a good sign. You can see with these older FRHs, the uh, stuff inside there is kind of leaking out of the heating elements a little bit. And the heat seems to be a little bit uneven. I tried to knead it a little bit. And the meatloaf. It smells good. And the mashed potatoes. Looks like mashed potatoes, nothing too exciting there. I think if I wasn't doing this for a video, I'd probably put the mashed potatoes down first and cover it with the meatloaf. Let's try this out. Looks good. Tastes good. The uh, meat has a very processed flavor to it, which is not surprising, of course. Tastes like MRE meat. This is just a lot like a, one of the old ones that they used to have. I 
But it's not bad though. Like I said, the mashed potatoes, not too much to say about that. Potatoes that are mashed. I think I'll uh, add some salt to that. I was talking about MREs being really salty. <clears throat> it's surprising how many things you actually need to add salt to. Oh, you know what? I've got about the butter buds. No artificial ingredients, that's a good sign. It has some flavor. And then the salt and the butter buds, it makes the whole thing taste kind of artificial try the whole thing together not bad jelly crackers It's all fine. The oatmeal cookie. It's good, nice and sweet. You would never think it was six years old, that's for sure. The Tootsie Rolls hold up as well. It's kind of stuck in there. That's not really a good sign. Well, it's kind of sad looking, but I'll tell you, it does taste okay. It certainly isn't hard. It's a little soft, which is a good thing. I'm going to wash it down with a little the lemon-lime beverage. It basically tastes like Gatorade. That was menu number seven, meatloaf. Thanks for watching.